Hey guys, Don Rice here, and today I'm making an engine baffle out of manila manila folders. So we can see that the drop back firewall is all complete. Here's the half inches of spacer, and the actual firewall is quarter inch there, and then this is. Uh, piece of the original firewall it's encapsulating the the T nuts blind nuts um, so you know under under here uh, the holes are countersunk and the T nuts are are in there so you can't see them and they're not ever going to come out you're never going to see the live day again uh, so um, I'm piecing together pieces of manila folder so I started with this piece right here and I uh, kind of got it you know you just take a stab at the shape and cut it to shape and then uh, you can see that you know I had to make a couple little um, pieces that to make this kind of inside part down at the bottom so a couple little pieces there and they, they get all I'm just kind of gluing them together with small little amounts of uh, E6000 which is kind of like goop um, same thing up here. You can see this is a piece that was added. Uh, this a piece up here, here, and down here. So I think I'm up to I don't know six or seven or eight pieces. And uh, so the next one I'm going to make is going to go right about here. And uh, honestly, I'm thinking about what has to happen here because I think this all has to get opened up hugely because um, this is the exit air side of the the equation. So all the air is going to come through these fins and then going to need to go that way somehow and uh, currently there's nowhere for all that air to go so I'm going to have to change that situation anyway there it is so I'm piecing this together not sure what the final one's going to be made out of I'm thinking I'm going to use quarter inch plywood don't know later okay we're back and so I've been goofing around trying to get this manila to fill in, you know, this this line here. So, you know, got a little extra piece here and a couple extra pieces down here. And so we've got that uh, pretty much blocked off pretty well. This will be, you know, cut. I'm cutting the engine right in half. Go that way. There you go. See? All right, so the next step is going to be uh, this idea that this is essentially the cold side of the engine. So um, I want to block off all the air coming in the cowl from this side of the engine. I don't want it to go that way. I want to potentially, you know, angle a piece so I can capture some of that air coming in half the, this left this yeah left side of the cow and channel it down and into the cool side so um, then there's this piece cut and I'm kind of thinking at the moment that I don't know it might get be down there close to the cylinder head um, and then you know I'd kind of angle it up like this and I don't know somehow figure out how to get you know this piece to match the various contours on the inside of the cowl and oh yeah by the way I've still got a man I've got to make room for the dummy engine unfortunately the goddamn dummy engine isn't here yet <sighs> so I kind of need it because I kind of need to know where I'm going to put it. So, it's baffling. Oh, okay. So, I think we saw this last time. Um, what I did here is I put the cowl on. Okay, so it's it's currently on, it's aligned, uh, and then uh, using some hemostats and 
you know, goof around. I, I cut a piece that had um, the contour, you know, this contour in it, uh, and basically just used a little goop and glued it to the other piece. And uh, so now I think I have, I think I have the basis for that. I think I have this piece. You know, this this is uh, that's it. So um, I can pull this off and transfer it over to some quarter inch plywood and uh, zip it out and figure out how I want to mount it and. I think that'll be one part of the baffling situation. Over here, um, you know, I cut this piece out, and you know, because that'll, it's basically got the contour now of the, um, you know, the head cylinder head fin. But this is for the back cylinder. Still got to do some fitting and whatnot to get that to work. Also, I'm still trying to contemplate how much of this uh, balsa carbon firewall needs to be removed. I don't think I need to remove anything here, um, but I might router a 45 degree angle into this so that airflow will, you know, more easily go in this way. But I haven't made any decisions at this point. I'm reticent about cutting that firewall until, you know, the picture is really clear in my head. Uh, and, it, and it's not yet which is kind of why I'm building these baffling pieces I can go ahead and you know cut this stuff I can put it on there um, and I can I can make some more progress here uh, without actually having to cut anything on the firewall so I'm going to continue down that path for a while